Hey everyone, welcome again. This is the Oxalis triangularis and this is commonly called as the false shamrock plant. Others also call this as butterfly plant. These plants have delicate five petal pink or white flowers and leaves with variation in colors including deep almost black purple and the leaves and flowers are responsive to sunlight, eat close at night and open again in the morning. This Oxalis triangularis is easy to grow and look after. It grows best in a location that receives plenty of filtered bright light or medium sunlight and shady location. It needs bright light but it cannot handle the direct harsh sunlight. A little sun in the morning or in the afternoon is enough to make its color bright purple. The hot weather and the harsh sunlight makes its color fade and eventually cause it to die or become dormant. And this plant has resting periods. It naturally loses its leaves and it will look sick or dead during hot season, but it will sprout again and bloom after. When it comes to growing this plant, first you need a potting soil that is rich and well draining. A soil mix that is too heavy may hold too much water and the plant may rot. For me, I'm mixing my garden soil with some composted garden waste to make my soil rich. And then I also mix some rice hulls in order to make it a well-draining soil mix. This will also give the soil the good aeration that is necessary in forming the roots of the plant. And I propagate this plant to make more of them by simply dividing the roots or the bulbs. Take the whole plant from the soil and carefully separate the rhizomes. And these roots hold water so it can survive drought under the soil even all of its leaves has already died during hot season. And as you can see, there are some sections of the roots or the rhizomes that you can separate. You can take them long or you can cut them into shorter pieces. Any pieces of this rhizome can regrow and it's up to you how many pieces you want to plant in a pot. and plant it under the soil surface or just to cover the roots. Water the new plant and place it in a cool, shady place. Mm -hmm. 
When it comes to watering this plant, water it when the soil becomes nearly dry. Stick your finger in the soil and when it feels dry, then water the plant. Do not let the plant sit on water. You may fertilize the plant every month with a balanced fertilizer diluted by half, except when the plant is in resting period.